Hello, everybody. Welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date, February 11, 2016. We're going to talk about nest or nesting. In the Bible, this is found 14 times in 13 verses. Of course, I'm not going to give you all those. When I think about nesting, I think about birds and how they would fly away. So we're going to go to Proverbs 27, 8. A man who strays from home is like a bird that wanders from its nest. In Isaiah 11, 8, babies will cross safely among poisonous snakes and a little child who puts his hand in a nest of deadly adlers will pull it out unharmed. In Jeremiah 17:11, like a bird that fills her nest with young she has not hatched and which will soon desert her and fly away. So is a man who gets his wealth by unjust means. Sooner or later, he will lose his riches and at the end of his life become a poor old fool. Now, as we know, parents, we're kind of like birds. And we don't like to see our children leave home, but they do. And just when they do that, this is called nesting. As a bird fills their, their nest, so does a family in a just man's store of wealth. But eventually he will lose his riches and wealth and end up as a very poor, poor man. And the wealth will not get you into heaven. God doesn't care about your wealth. You can't take it with you. A man who strays from the home wanders away as a bird wanders from their nest. As we get older, we do wander away from our homes. This is hard on us as a parent, but because we know this has to be done, we accept it. It is still called nesting. So I want you to think about this today. Um, are you a nester? Are you a person that stores up riches? I know that it's something to think about, and I'm asking that you do really think about it and know that God is going to wi be with you. He doesn't care about your riches. Thank you, and have a blessed day.